All right, this is my about seventh take of just me talking here. This is what it's like to do YouTube videos. You have to do so many takes. But I'm trying not to make this too long for you. So welcome back to another Hand Sufficient Reptiles. This is gonna be my first ever vlog. Even though I really don't wanna call this a vlog, I'm gonna show some clips of what I do every day from Sunday, just today, to next Sunday. I thought it'd be a pretty good idea, so I'm gonna go ahead and roll with it. Okay? Okay. So the first video that I'm gonna show are clips from when Frank did a shed. Now he recently shed, which is a very interesting experience for both me and the gecko. To cut things to the chase, clip. Nico, my little friend, is exploring my Millennium Falcon playset. So this is the same place where you saw my dinosaurs and the same desk. So the mission we have today is we heard that crested geckos can eat kiwis and pears. I thought, why not smash up some pears and kiwis and feed Nico some mashed up fruit? And that's what we're doing. We're mashing up some pears and some kiwis to feed them. So after an off-camera unsuccessful first attempt, I thought feeding him off his favorite stick would help him eat the pears. But as it turns out, he wasn't interested. He kept trying to push the stick away, and I tried to encourage him to eat it. But it just never seemed to work with him. I guess he's just a big fan of the Pangea diet and not willing to try anything else. So... I was successful at getting him to lick off some of this Pangea from his favorite stick. And I put a cup of Pangea in there, which is like a little bottle cup. And he's probably going to eat some more of the Pangea tonight. But I just couldn't get him to eat very well in front of the camera. No, don't walk in it. Don't stick your feet in your food. I guess I'm going to have to teach him table manners or something. I have to teach him to not stick his feet in his food. I thought geckos were supposed to know. I guess they stick their feet in anything if they have to. No, no feet in the food. I'm putting Nico back in his enclosure after a failed attempt at getting him to eat. Let's get to Monday. I interrupt this video with a commercial for crested geckos. Crested geckos make great pets for the beginner dinosaur keeper. They're easy, rideable, and fun to feed. Crested geckos add an XYZ reptiles near you. Just search XYZ reptiles slash product slash crested geckos. Whoa. That was very dangerous for you, you know, Frank. You could have gotten hurt. You could have gotten hurt. In fact, no, don't you do it again. I'm going to set you down on this shelf, and then I'm going to put you back in your enclosure. But when I get mad at him, I'm going to call him by his full name. Francis the Third. I, Francis the Third, he listened to me. 
That's right, go in your high and think about your actions. All right, so I'm here with the client from the other video, and right now we're gonna cut this piece of wood because he found one for Lucy, the rescue ball python, and she's gonna be so happy. You have a saw? We'll let Cher have it lately. And he's gonna cut it. He's gonna cut the wood for Lucy. You gotta push down on this a little bit. Push down. There you go. Here we go. It worked. We have the wood. We have two pieces now. All right, so I've got Gizmo right here. Little gecko Gizmo from the from the reptile room tour. Now we did a few modifications to this enclosure. We have a little piece of cork bark right here to make us this bridge. And since we're adding some new wood to Lucy's enclosure, he, she won't need that other piece of cork bark. All right, so I'm just gonna get Gizmo in one hand. Okay, he's gonna be bad today. All right, and let's move this top. It's very difficult and to do this one-handed because I'm holding Gizmo. And maybe, get him to please calm down. There we go. Is he levitating or something? Take that as a notice, all reptile keepers who use excavator clay with their leopard geckos. They climb, they can climb. They don't have toe pads, but they can climb like a crested gecko. Well, I suppose a gecko can dream. All right, so I've got Lucy. She's balled herself up. And here's her new enclosure. We might change it tomorrow. But she's a very powerful snake. Her power should not be underestimated. So right now I'm gonna set her down in the enclosure. And right now she's just weaving through this moss. Now I'm gonna check on him to check on her tonight and see if she's climb and see if she's climbing it. Right, so while we got Nico out, I realized that this prayer plant, which is the one in the back, is pretty high for Lucy's enclosure. So I thought we might as well take out this bromeliad right here, this one right here, and replace it with the prayer plant because the prayer plant is going to grow big. So I think that we should take the prayer plant out of Lucy's and put it in Nico's because this tank is slightly higher. So it might be better for the plant. Nico, what do you think you're doing?
So right now we're putting the bromeliad inside of Lucy's bioactive setup. Many people think that bromeliads can only be planted inside of cork bark, but the bio do mention that they could be planted directly into the soil, like a regular plant. Wait a minute, play that back, then enhance image and slow down. So with this being a vlog, I thought I'd do some behind the scenes. So I go early 2020 reptile room tour. This is a tour of my three lizards and two snakes. Thumbnail, let's go to the thumbnail. I'm gonna go over to downloads. I'm gonna go and move it down to you. Or is that good? So I go to Reptile Room Tour 2020. Now, if you haven't seen that video, go watch it because I'm uploading it right now. There we go. I've got a good thumbnail. Now, playlists. I'm going to say Haynes Fish and Reptiles 2020, Lucy and Ball Pythons. This is going to be part of a lot of Let's go, yes, it's made for kids. I don't care about the comments section anyway. The only thing people do is say bad things down there. I don't care about age restriction. I already said what I wanted to say. So, here's the original Hayden's Fish and Reptiles family photo. Gizmo, Nico, Frank, Nyoka, and Luna. I made this before Luna escaped and before I got Lucy. But, as the story goes, I got Lucy. And right after that, Luna escaped. Apparently, Luna didn't want the number of reptiles I had to be an even number, which is six. So, she escaped and brought me down to five. I don't understand how she thinks my reptile count works, but Luna ran out and Lucy came in to replace her. So I've updated the family photo. It has the new reptiles in it and updated photos from the original. See, there's new enclosures that the photos were taken in, so it's just a lot more added to this new family photo. So, I liked Luna. Now, she wasn't my favorite reptile. Like, I like all the reptiles that I have now more than I like Luna. She was a little rambunctious. She never tamed down. And by rambunctious, I mean she escaped twice, and the second time she was never seen again. Who knows, maybe she'll come back and exact revenge on us for replacing her enclosure with the spider enclosure and for replacing her photo with Lucy. I don't know.
Meet the Kenyan Samboa, a pet sandbox indeed. Whoa! He is climbing. What do you know? He's climbing. Not so much a pet sandbox.